In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily extract general ledger accounting data from either an SAP ECC system or an SAP s hana system using Ultrix and the DVW Ultrix connector for SAP. Before we get started, a couple of things to, to note, uh, particularly if you'd like to either download uh, the workflow on a show you from Ultrix Gallery or attempt to rebuild it yourself. There are three key prerequisites, very obvious ones, but I'll spell them out anyway. Prerequisite one is you must have Altrix Designer. Prerequisite two is you must also have the DVW ACS for Altrix Designer, um, and you can request a free trial of that from the DVW Analytics website. And thirdly, you must have access to either an SAP ECC system or an SAP s hana system. If you would like to download the workflow from Altrix Gallery, it's uh, very easy to find. Um, if you just do a search within the gallery, uh, for SAP, you'll have access to the workflow itself and you can simply download it and start using it with your own, uh, within your own environment. Okay, so um, what I'm showing here is the uh, transactional view of an SAP general ledger document. Um, it's what end users will see um, when they're working with, with SAP systems. Um, and what's clear here, hopefully from the slide, is that the document itself comprises two, two components. The first is header level data, and secondly is segment or item level data. Now, why this is important is that the header level data and the segment or item data is physically stored in different tables within an SAP system. And therefore, if I'd like to extract data from my SAP system into Alteryx and effectively recompile or reconstitute that document, then I need data from both the header level and also the item level. So what this means then is that I need to understand what SAP tables underpin the transactions I'm interested in accessing data from. And I'll start here and our demonstration and uh, workflow will focus on the two key SAP financial accounting tables. The first of these represents the accounting document header and that's a table called BKPF. And the second represents the the uh, transaction uh, item or segment, and that is the accounting document segment table called BSEG or BSEG. And what I've done here is I've just taken a snapshot from the data dictionary of both tables within the SAP system, and we can see that there are three fields that are common to both tables. They are company code, accounting document number, and fiscal year. So what this means is ultimately what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to use the company code, accounting document number, excuse me, and fiscal year data to search for data within the BSEG table itself. Okay, so there's quite a tight link between these two tables through these three common fields. Um, now, if you're not familiar with SAP tables, there's uh, an abundance of information on the web. Google is your best friend here. Um, we've also put together a blog, which is available on our website, uh, where we highlight the most important uh, SAP tables um, for finance and controlling. And we spell out here the big two, uh, which we're gonna work with today, along with many of the other supporting tables that you might be interested in. So do take a look at that if you're interested. Okay, so let's get started then with, with the workflow. So what I've done here is to find a workflow that comprises two parts. Uh, the first workflow or the primary workflow is our caller workflow and there's a second workflow which we're referring to as the callee workflow and I'll explain why we're using these in, in just a second. But let me just walk you through uh, the workflow itself. So this caller workflow comprises um, some standard Altrix tools as well as a number of the tools within the ACS for Altrix Designer and the starting point here is a tool that we call the SAP Logon tool. Uh, I'll show you the detail behind this uh, in, in, in a second um, but what we do within the SAP Logon tool this is where we store our SAP system parameters and we also capture our SAP user parameters and the parameters and SAP system details are passed to any of the other DVW ACS uh, tools that link to it. Okay. The second thing here is I've made use of the SAP table tool. And in this particular workflow, I'm going to extract data from the accounting document header table. So therefore, I've used the table tool. And I'll extract the fields that I'm interested in. And then I'm going to pass those fields 
in two branches. The first branch are past the fields I'm interested in extracting through to uh, an Alteryx join tool. And then the second branch will pass off these fields through to what we call our filter tool, which I'll explain in a little bit more detail in just a second. And then from the filter tool to uh, an Alteryx macro, which calls this particular workflow here. And in, and in our callee workflow, we also have the SCP logon tool where we store again our system credentials, our user ID and password, etc., and pass those through to another SAP table tool. And in this workflow, we're calling the item table or the document segment table BSEG. Okay, let's come back to the main workflow again. So, what happens then is uh, once data goes through the filter, um, uh, is then processed within uh, the callie workflow via this macro here and then we get the data coming out of that uh, secondary workflow into the Alteryx join tool and what we're going to do here is we're going to combine the data from the header table, the BKPF table and the item table, the BSEG table and from here we've got another two branches the first branch is just going to basically allow us to browse the, the, the detail of the, the extract um, and within this uh, particular browse we'll just see the SAP technical names of the fields and then the second branch here we're going to convert the technical names into um, descriptions so it's much more reader uh, reader friendly if you like so let me activate some of these um, other elements so we can look at this a bit more detail okay so let's start then with the SAP logon tool. All right, what I can see here is I've, I've entered my license ID, I've specified the system and user credentials. These are all encrypted, by the way, um, that can be used by the other elements within the workflow. Then we look at the table tool. And in the table tool, I've selected the fields that I want to extract from the BKPF accounting document header table. So I've captured here fields like the company code, the accounting document number and the fiscal year. So these are going to be uh, important to pass to uh, the BSEG table a little bit later on. And then in addition to those key fields, I've also selected the fields I would like to have included in the output from the BKPF table. In this branch here then, we then pop across to our filter tool and what the filter tool is going to do is going to do two things for us. One is it can determine which of the fields um, from the BKPF header table that we want to pass into the callee workflow through this macro here. So I'm going to use the company code, accounting document number and fiscal year to help identify the data in the BSEC table that I'm interested in. And what this filter tool is also going to do for us is going to batch up um, the request of data from that table. So what we can do here is by using this idea of a batch size is I can create batches to enhance the overall performance of the workflow end-to-end. -end. Okay, so basically I'm drip feeding the data from the header table into, into the item uh, table. Okay, I then call in the workflow which if I just pop over here, we can look at the Corley workflow. Okay, so using a macro, so through the input tool here, the data we're passing from the BKPF table, the header table and our filter uh, comes into this particular work through via the, the input macro. Um, I've also specified then our SAP table. Let's just take a look at this. So the table is BSEG, so that's the counting document segment table. And I've identified the fields that I want to extract from that particular table. I can also, in both instances, uh, apply various filters as well. So I'm not, I haven't done that here. I'm just choosing all the data. And then from this point, the data is extracted from uh, SAP via the table tool and then passed back to the output macro.
So I get the output from the macro appearing here, and then I'm combining uh, the, the two sources of data um, on a series of common fields. So this represents the uh, the company code, the uh, document number, and the fiscal year. And from here, I can see the actual final output of that. So let's just take a look. Make a bit of room here. Okay. So from here, I can see the data from both the BKPF table and the BSEG table combined. So that gives me a complete picture. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction there, um, in this particular view, in this particular branch rather, uh, I'm just seeing the technical names of those fields, which isn't terribly user friendly. So in the second branch, I'm making use of a select tool and a couple of other Altrix tools to convert the technical names of the, the, the fields into uh, descriptions, which gives me a slightly more user-friendly format in our output. 